All right, hello, everyone, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the XOF CBC Helmet mod, which is being released by user Zactin1234. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game are some Cold War esque helmets for your character to wear, and these things are. Magnificent! As you can see by the ones I've got on these mannequins behind me, these are some gorgeous helmets with a lot of fun details to them. And as you can see by the various mannequins, I have a number of different options for you to change up the style, which is pretty cool. Now, the helmets themselves are actually inspired and designed after the ones worn by the XOF troopers in Metal Gear Solid 5, but are based off the real-world combat vehicle crewman helmet, which was introduced to the US military in the 70s, which does mean this is a solidly real-world Cold War item, which I think fits in quite nicely into the Commonwealth. So let's take a look at what exactly we do get here with the XOF CVC Helmet, which in its most basic standard form will provide for you 30 physical defense as well as 15 energy damage resist for just a mere weight of two. And so, yeah, you don't got a whole lot of stats to these things, but just look at how gorgeous this thing is overall. It is very well made, very nice on the detailing, on the modeling, the texturing. It is gorgeous. Even on the interior, you know, you've got a lot of good detail there. Now, they didn't have to go to, you know, put in all that, but, you know, it looks all that much better for it. And as you can see here, we've got a variety of different modifications, most of which will purely just change up the aesthetics. For instance, we have two different colors to choose from, with either a full-on white and blue stripe or a black with green stripe. And then we also do have three separate accessories, either a balaclava, radio headset, or goggles for you to turn on or off, allowing you to change this thing up to more better match what you're wanting to go for, which is pretty darn cool. Now, as you can see on the two color options here, I personally like the black one because, well, I always like dark colors, uh, but both look gorgeous here, and again, lots of good detailing to it, and I think overall just the black and green, from you know, my own personal opinion on it, it just has a lot more pop to it. The blue is kind of a bit light for my liking, but all in all, both pretty nice. Now, the balaclava is, a, well, a balaclava if you want to cover up your face entire, entirely. Now, the radio, you'll notice on all of the headsets, if we actually go to, say, this one in the front, all of the headsets do actually have a small mic coming out the uh, bottom left-hand side, but if you go with the full radio attachment, it adds the much larger boom microphone to your right-hand side. Though no matter which you do go with, all of them do have the radio transmitter, or receiver rather, in the back. Actually, could be both, I guess. But yeah, just a nice little detail, and the much larger mic there if you want. Now then, the goggles here, you can either have those on or off, and what's fun is this is actually a little bit more complicated than the others. It's not just on or off. You also have the goggles over the eyes, or as my personal ones have, the goggles on top of the helmet. So you've got two different fun options there, which is pretty cool. Now, as for how you get your hands on one of these uh, glorious things, it's pretty darn simple. You just got to go to any chemistry station in the world, and you can craft your very own CBC helmet by just going down to the category for it, and then with a bit of cloth, 15, and 3 steel, you can make your very own XOF CBC helmet. Now, as for the uh, different modifications, if we just jump on in here to the armor workbench real quick, go down to the basic helmet here, we do have the ability to add on Ballistic Weave to this thing, which is pretty great, so you can really up the uh, damage resistances on this thing, making it a pretty awesome and powerful helmet to protect your skull. Now, then as for the balaclava, again, you either have the option of no balaclava or putting a balaclava on, which will cost you one cloth, which I do like. It's not just an aesthetic option that they go, okay, you can get it for free. It's actually going to cost you a little. I always appreciate when mods do that. 
Now, for the radio headset, that one's a little bit more expensive. You either got, of course, the Nun or the radio headset with one circuitry, one copper, one fiber optics, and one plastic. But that is going to add in some perception and intelligence for you, which is pretty darn cool. Now, I've go back to the Pilot Club. I don't think, yeah, that one didn't add anything to it. I forgot to take a look at that a second ago, but uh, the radio headset will. Now, as for the goggles, like I said, we've either got the Nun, the Combat Goggles, giving you some extra rad resistance, as well as perception and luck. And you can either have them down or on the forehead. Both will give you the same stats and will require one cloth and one glass to create. And then finally, we have the color options, which will take just some cloth to do. They don't add any stats onto it, but you've got either the white and blue or the black with green stripe. Like I said, personally, I prefer the black with green, but hey, you do you. You do you. And yes, just all in all, it's some nice things. I do like that the radio and the uh, goggles do add some additional stats onto this thing, making it an even more interesting and useful helmet. And honestly, it just looks good. Now, I wish we had some tanks to actually drive around in the world to actually make this helmet appropriate, because, you know, it's a combat vehicle crewman helmet. But hey, still, it's a nice looking piece of hardware. Will protect your noggin pretty darn well and has some fun accessories for you to use. So if you'd like to take a look at this mod for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for this one today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed and yet do come back for the next. Oh, but until that time, thank you for watching. And as always... Have a good one.